Hey guys, Todd here. Today we're going to install the Revolver X4S on this 2022 Nissan Frontier. For this installation, I'll be using a squeeze clamp and a ratchet along with two sockets, a half inch and a nine sixteenths. Now make sure you subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with all our latest content. Let's go and get started. Okay, so the first step is to install this bulkhead seal. Obviously, we've already got this one on here. It was on there for a backflip installation. It's the exact same seal, so we're gonna use it. Just keep in mind, it goes all the way from one bed cap to the other. Uh, also, make sure you wipe down the bulkhead with isopropyl alcohol before you apply the bulkhead seal and cut it in place. Next, let's go ahead and attach one of those rails. Okay, we're gonna start on the passenger side. This is our passenger side rail. Uh, if you notice, we've got this aluminum tab that's hanging off the side that's got the two long slots in it. That is gonna go towards the cab of the truck and that aluminum cab is gonna face to the inside of the bed. We've also got kind of a shelf on the edge here that's going to hang on top of our bed cap. So what we're gonna do is just kind of lift it up to the bed cap, kind of rotate it down where it hangs on the bed cap and then we're gonna slide this all the way forward to where this rubber pad touches the bulkhead. Once that's in place, we're just gonna hold it temporarily, take a squeeze clamp and hold that in place while we attach our clamps. Okay, now the first two clamps we're going to install are gonna look like this one right here. Now, one thing I wanna point out is you've got some grooves on the inside of the clamp. They're gonna match up to some grooves on our rail. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide that up into place and over top of our utility track. And this is gonna be about six inches away from our bulkhead. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna raise that clamp up as high as we can to get engagement into the rail and then kind of squeeze it together and tighten it down by hand. Then we're gonna take a 9 16 uh, wrench or ratchet and go ahead and get it kind of snug. And then we're going to pop the top of it to seat the seal on the top and then finish tightening it down. Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and install our clamp strap. Uh, what we're gonna do is spread that apart, slide that up into the bed cap, get it as close to our front clamp as possible and go ahead and tighten it down using again a 9 16 wrench or ratchet. All right, if we come back from the bulkhead about 34 inches and reach up into the bed cap, we'll find there's a little slot on the inside of the bed cap. That's where we need to insert the back side of our clamp. Now the front side of our clamp, we wanna make sure we get about two teeth of engagement into the rail. And getting up into that slot is going to be the way we're gonna be able to do that. So once we get that in place, we're gonna go ahead and tighten that down by hand. We're gonna snug it a little bit with a 9 16 then seat it from the top and continue to tighten it down to 10 foot pounds. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and go all the way back to the very end of the rail on the bed cap. Um, and we're gonna use our different style of clamp. Now there's two locations that we can lock this clamp in. We're gonna choose the higher location that puts this further up. What we're gonna do is spread that apart. Again, we wanna have two teeth engagement, at least two teeth engagement up into the rail. So we're gonna spread that apart, slide that up into place, get the engagement on the rail. And then as we're holding that together, go ahead and tighten it down by hand. And then we're gonna take now a half inch wrench or ratchet and get that snugged. Then seat the rail at the top and finish tightening it down to 10 foot pounds. All right, now we're gonna repeat the same process on the other side. And if on the other side, you have the bed assist grip, that will need to come out first. Okay, so when the cover comes out of the box, it's gonna be reverse rolled. So we're gonna go ahead and set it on top of the rails and start rolling it towards the cab of the truck. As we roll it towards the cab, we also want to kind of roll it up as we follow it. And once we get all the way up to the front, we're gonna notice we've got a couple of tracks that run side to side in the header rail. What we're gonna do is take a couple of bolts on each side from our kit, slide one into each one of these rails on each side of the cover. So two over here and two over here.
All right, what we're gonna do is make sure they're lined up to the holes in the slots and rock them forward. Now we can go underneath and attach our hardware. Okay, now here are the two screws that we just rotated down to go through those slots. Uh, in our kit, we're also gonna have a rubber washer, flat washer, and a star knob that are gonna go over each one of these screws uh, in, in that order. So rubber washer first, then the flat washer, and then we've got the star knob. Now, once you get the star knob about here, it's not tight yet, but you're gonna start feeling some resistance. That's because there's a nylock nut inside that star knob that's gonna give you resistance. It keeps it from vibrating loose. So what we're gonna do is we're going to get it not quite to where it's snug, just to where it's kind of close enough to where we can still adjust the cover. We're gonna do that on both uh, bolts and on both sides. Now we're gonna go ahead and roll the cover back to the tailgate, make sure everything lines up properly and it fully engages. Then we're gonna very gently roll the cover back up to the front, making sure not to mess up our alignment of our cover, and then go ahead and finish tightening now the start ops all the way. Okay, now if this roll stays nice and tight, it will actually never contact the cab. However, if that roll loosens up a little bit, uh, then it can actually roll forward and contact the cab. So I went ahead and wiped down these two locations right here with some rubbing alcohol, and we're going to apply some rubber bumpers to those two locations on each side. So we're just gonna take the bumpers, peel the 3M tape off of them, put it right in the gap, and repeat the same on the opposite side. And there we go. Well, that concludes the installation. If you found this video helpful, make sure and give us a thumbs up. If you want to know more about the product, check the link in the description below. And as always, if you have any questions, call the experts or visit us online.